That's right. Oh. Whew. What is this? Fiverr wants to make a video together? Okay. Uh, all right. Video ideas. Um, maybe I can do the oh, I paid a stranger a thousand dollars to edit my video idea. Hmm. Yeah, only if you want people to say you copied Peter McKinnon and Daniel Schiffer. What the? God? Is that you? Morgan Freeman? Nope. Just your intrusive thoughts. Oh man, I really wanted Morgan Freeman. Wait, why do you sound different than me? Oh, I'm just one of the voices inside your head. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, okay. So, video ideas. Um, ooh, look, I can get someone to make a sick VFX animation for me. Maybe they can animate a futuristic Iron Man thing around my glasses? That'd be kinda cool. Leave the VFX for the cool people. You know who that is? Not you. Wow. All right, fine. Jeez, so no VFX, all right. Oh, how about I get someone to create a YouTube thumbnail for this video, right? I need one, so how about like, Fiverr meets Alex Chung? You're not Mr. Beast. No one's gonna fall for your stupid clickbait thumbnails. Wow, all right. Well, how about a nice, simple YouTube intro? It'll be of my face, me, Holding camera, animated, right? I can use it for every single video. Now we're getting somewhere, except that you're ugly. Not even animation is gonna save you. All right, it just feels like you're not helping at all. Oh, Everything you say is negative. Is, is there anything helpful that you can say? Do you have buddy? any good ideas? I'm sorry, am it's I just, the yeah, one yeah, that's yeah, supposed yeah, to be the you're creative person here? You're not coming up anything helpful, you? and you're just saying like, uh, are bad ideas. What are you saying? Why, Who are, is Dad I talking to? I don't get it. Who is he talking to? Talking? All what is he is doing? Good what is Dad doing? Hi, uh, I hope you guys liked that little skit video intro thing that I made because uh, today we're going to be talking about Fiverr. Uh, they are, I'm very excited because they are the first big sponsor of this channel. Um, and so I've been using Fiverr for a long time. Basically Fiverr is a marketplace for you to find artists, vendors who do a ton of different various services. Everything from doing video and editing work to data analysis and all the way to like consulting. Uh, so you can find like a whole bunch of different services on Fiverr. And today I wanna to show you guys how I've been using Fiverr and how I specifically use Fiverr for this project. You'll see a behind the scenes of what I did on Fiverr to get the end result uh, of that uh, skit video that you saw, and how filmmakers and creators can use Fiverr to elevate the work in your projects. All right, uh, we just finished filming the skit stuff that pretty much took the whole afternoon. So I'm gonna get the rough edit done tonight uh, and then send out the reference video for the vendors, like the VFX person and also the voiceover artist for them to actually see the footage so that they can actually do their thing. Oh, right. Okay, so I just got done with editing the rough cut of the uh, skit video and this is gonna be good enough, I think, very close to what the final version is gonna be, but also good enough for the reference video for the voice actor to do his lines over it while kind of seeing what the video is gonna look like. And then also that one shot of the glasses, hopefully it turns out well, uh, for the VFX artist. And then we're gonna do the thumbnail and also that little animated YouTube intro thing. And the first person I'm gonna contact is gonna be the voiceover artist. As a commercial filmmaker, I'm a huge fan of all the voiceover artists that we have available on Fiverr. And adding a professional, good sounding voiceover to a project, it just makes your work seem a little bit more like, you know, what the pros do uh, at the highest level. And as you heard in that intro skip video, I'm sure it sounds good, I don't know yet. The voiceover artist essentially played an invisible character that never shows up on screen, but it's a vital part of the skit or else otherwise I'll be just literally talking to myself uh, as I'm doing the skit, which kind of, it's not that fun to watch, I guess. So I found this guy, Daniel K on Fiverr, and he's gonna be the voiceover artist. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a really good fit for uh, the skit. I saw his reel, heard his reel. It sounds really good. So I'm gonna reach out to him. It's a very simple process to reach out to these vendors. Most of the time they ask you to send them a message and tell them a little bit about your project and kind of see if it's viable and then they'll go ahead and ask you to book. But uh, I'm pretty sure that this guy is gonna be 
the right person. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like book him without uh, messaging him right away and asking questions. And when you're placing an order, there's a lot of little options that the vendors have for you to choose from. For example, if you know you're getting like a high volume of the same repeatable, repeated type of work, like for example, you're doing a lot of uh, social media content where you know that you will be booking a voiceover artist, you can do a monthly subscription with the vendor and you can save a little bit of money that way. So that's a really cool feature. There's also other things, um, each vendor is different. So you can do like a timed audio sync and he'll be timing his performance with the existing video or the presentation, or you can have a one-on-one -on -one live direction with him. I'm pretty sure it's like a video call or something and you can give him live directions as he's recording the voiceover. And after you order the services from the vendor, they'll have a little form for you to fill out, asking a couple questions about what direction you want the voiceover performance to be, a little bit about the project and stuff like that. So I gave him a couple directions, give me a couple of takes. One of them is do it in a way where you're insulting me uh, and my ideas. And the other one is like a banter. So bantering with your friend, joking around with your friend. So those are some things that I added to the directions and kind of explaining to him what the skit is all about or what the video is gonna be. And then also attaching the reference video and also the script that I want him to read. And actually years ago, we used a voiceover artist on Fiverr and our client was an after school program that taught kids 10 and under robotics, like STEM sciences, and they needed a commercial for their program and we went into it knowing that we would need to hire a voiceover artist and it was really cool working with a voiceover artist for the first time on that commercial we were able to immediately see the difference or I guess hear the difference of like how much better the voiceover made the commercial without it it's just the video montage of like kids learning in school attending class and you know playing around with like robots and stuff like that but with the voiceover it, it just explains so much more tells so much more of the story and it kind of took our commercial from like down here to like up here here. We also use play-based learning to sharpen their observation skills, boost early age cognition, develop social skills. All right, next thing we have is the VFX. I'm gonna send off like one shot that's color graded to the VFX artist and have him just do the VFX magic on it. Um, so the idea for this, it's gonna be just this like little HUD thing that you can see through the glasses. It's like um, that one scene in Spider-Man where Peter Parker puts on the glasses from Tony Stark and then it has that little animation thing on the glasses. I want that. And I just kind of want the VFX artist to use his imagination, do his own thing uh, and see what he can do. So the vendor's name is Katan. I really liked his work because he had this cyberpunk inspired reel and that's what I really liked and kind of what I want uh, for the HUD idea as well. And here are the order details that I put in for the VFX artist for him to kind of go off of some little directions of like where I want the animation to start, where I want it to end, what I'm looking for for the animation and like a reference video of the exact scene that I'm talking about from Spider-Man. This is what I'm excited for him because uh, I've never really incorporated VFX into any of my commercial work or personal projects. And so it'll be a great starting point to see if I can incorporate more VFX uh, into our commercial projects in the future. Okay, next we're going to contact the logo animation person. And I have this cartoon that I want to use. It's just me holding a camera that I got done years ago. But the only issue is that I don't have the original source file. I don't have the Adobe Illustrator.ai file that would they need to fully utilize and animate the whole uh, cartoon thing. The only thing I have is a PNG file with a transparent background. I'm gonna message uh, this person first before I actually do the order just so that they can see whether or not it's even possible to do any sort of animation. All right, so I just got done messaging the logo animator and they said it was okay to just give them the PNG with a transparent background. They said that they should be able to do something with that file. So we'll see how it goes. I don't really have a direction for them for this. I told him that I'm a filmmaker slash photographer, I guess, because I'm holding a photography camera. Do whatever with it whatever you think is, is good for it. Um, they said, okay, they're gonna do a custom order for me since they already know what the requirements are. They're also gonna give me the full copyright and the commercial license use, which I don't know if it's actually necessary, but I'm just gonna be extra careful with it um, and just go ahead and purchase that uh, fee as well. It's not very expensive, so uh, which is good. So we're gonna send it off and see what the end result is when they deliver it. Okay, the last vendor that we're going to contact is gonna be the YouTube thumbnail creator. This is gonna be very interesting because I picked someone who does those, you know, the Logan Paul, Mr. Beast type of the clickbait thumbnails, which is gonna be so funny <laughs> to have like my face on this like this outrageous thumbnail. I might actually use it as a thumbnail 
for this video. I might, I don't know. It's, uh, depending on how it turns out and uh, how it looks, I'm just gonna maybe send it and just use it as the thumbnail. Here's that vendor. His name is Somu. I'm gonna contact him and tell him what I'm looking for. So he told me what kind of photos he needed. He just needed a couple uh, smiling photos. Uh, so I gave him a couple of uh, previous thumbnails that I shot, you know, using a backdrop at home. Those are photos that I used for a different video in the past, but it's just me doing a couple of like smiling poses. Uh, I gave him a couple of different ones so he could give me a couple different versions. And then I also gave him the requirement of, you have to use the Fiverr logo, has to be in the thumbnail as well. And then just kind of gave him like some phrases that I thought would be kind of clickbaity uh, for the video and we'll see. All right guys, this is day two uh, and we already have a couple of the orders done. So we have the voiceover done, and then we also have the logo animation done as well. So let's take a look at the uh, the voiceover, which I'm pretty excited for, because this is the character, uh, you know, that I'm talking to. If this is good, then uh, we can get started on the editing with it. Okay, so he actually gave me four different takes. The first two are the ones that I requested, and then the other two are just versions that he had fun with it. So we have four different recordings, which is more than what uh, I asked asked for, which is amazing, which is awesome. So let's take a look at it and we're gonna play it. Yeah, only if you want people to say you copy Peter McKinnon and Daniel Schiffer. Nope, just your intrusive thoughts. Oh, I'm just one of the voices inside your head. Don't worry about it. Leave the VFX for the cool people. You're not cool. You're not Mr. Beast. No one's gonna fall for your stupid clickbait thumbnails. Yeah, but you're ugly. Not even animation is gonna save you. <laughs> So that was pretty funny. Uh, so that was the, the really insulting one. I like that one a lot. Um, and we'll see what read number two is. Yeah, only if you want people to say you copied Peter McKinnon and Daniel Schiffer. Nope, just your intrusive thoughts. Oh, I'm just one of the voices inside your head. Eh, don't worry about it. Leave the VFX for the cool people. You're not cool. You're not Mr. Beast. No one's gonna fall for your stupid clickbait thumbnails. Yeah. But you're ugly. Not even animation is gonna save you. Okay, that was not bad either. To me, they seem similar-ish, subtle differences between the two, but uh, sort of similar, um, which means probably either one, my my writing isn't that good, obviously, um, and then two, maybe the, the, the instructions weren't as great, um, but I like them though, I like them, I like them. So we'll listen to this three and four and see if they're like any different, because this is the one that he said that he, you know, changed it up a little bit uh, and just kind of went with his own style and made it more natural sounding to like him. Yeah, only if you want people to say you copied Peter McKinnon and Daniel Schiffer. Okay, already I like this a lot more. Like that first, like, yeah, that was really good. That was really good. I like that. Nope, just your intrusive thoughts. Oh, I'm just one of the voices inside your head. Uh, don't worry about it. Leave the VFX for the cool people. You know who that is? Not you. Yes, dude, that was so good. That was so good. So he added even a little line to like a couple more words to the actual lines. You know who that is? You know who that is? Not you, which is great. Which is like so much funnier than I wrote it. Yeah, I love that. I love that. You're not Mr. Beast. No one's going to fall for your stupid clickbait thumbnails. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Except that you're ugly. Not even animation is going to save you. Yeah, this is so much better. Okay, I like this a lot more. I'm, I'm so glad that he actually like gave me more uh, takes than what I was asking for. Those definitely have a lot more uh, character. This is like way more like insulting. Like the attitude of it is like way more insulting and way more of like what I was looking for. So I'm actually glad that we got an extra take. I know I'm gonna use take number three for sure. That one's like the attitude that I'm looking for is definitely in read number three. And I think I like the outro, the little like back and forth uh, thing where we're overlapping voices from take number four. Okay, I'm gonna go edit that. But first, before we do that, let's take a look at the logo animation. We're gonna open it up right now and we are gonna check it out. All right, here we go. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I love this. I, I really didn't know what to expect. I'm not really sure like what I was going for, but this is so cool. So I put it into Premiere. I put the GIF into Premiere and it works. So I can loop it like infinitely, uh, which is awesome. All right, so it's been a few days since we last saw anything from Fiverr. We have the VFX done now and also the thumbnails. They're done, both those are done. So we're gonna take a look at the thumbnails first. I sent over three photos to him and then he's gonna send over three thumbnails back to me. I have no idea what we're gonna expect. 
Um, so I'm kind of excited. So these are, again, these are gonna be the crazy Logan Paul, Mr. Beast type of thumbnails. Uh, I'm gonna open it up right now. Opening it up. <laughs> nice, this is so funny. This is just so funny. Oh my God, this is the first one. Here's the second one. Oh my God. <laughs> What the heck? It just, it's so weird seeing my face on these like crazy thumbnails. And then here's thumbnail number three. <laughs> this is so cool. I love all the colors. It's like everything is like, is like so colorful. There's a bunch of like highlights. The text is so loud. Everything is so loud, but it works. Like this is like exactly what you would see on a Mr. Beast thumbnail. And also what's cool is that the vendor included the PSD file. So the Photoshop files that they use to create the entire thumbnail. Uh, they gave that to me as well. So then I can go in if I want to change a couple things around here and there, add a little bit of different texture or effects or even change up the text. I can go ahead and do that using that PSD file, which is Pretty nice, honestly. All right, next we are going to check out that VFX shot, which is probably gonna be looking kind of cool. So I'm gonna go check it out right now. Here we go. Maybe they can animate a futuristic Iron Man thing around my glasses. That'd be kind of cool. Oh. Leave the VFX for the cool people. You know who that is? Not you. Nice, that's so cool. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, that's that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Uh, I can definitely tell that there's some like, you know, a little bit of like color grading issues going on, a little bit of like blending with the color grading that could be a little bit better, but for what it is, I mean, this is, this is not bad. I don't know what I was expecting. I gave him the direction of just doing something futuristic like the Iron Man HUD thing, so. Yeah, I mean, it turned out pretty good. All right, and that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you have any other questions down in the comments. Thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to. And uh, until the next one, my name is Alex Chung, and I'll see you later. Bye. All right, cool.